Hey guys, it's like I'm in outer space. This is so cool. All right. Um, so I have done a lot of reading videos with you guys and some writing. Now we're going to work on some math. So I want us to, um, this obviously won't apply to all of you, but those of you that have this math page, um, you guys will be able to click on this and watch this and get some help with it. So I'm going to share my screen here. Be patient with me because I have not done a math video yet. This is my first one. I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure quite if all these tools are going to work correctly. So. Um, if you have this math page, then this will apply to you, okay? It says add or subtract, complete the number bond for each set. Now in class, we talk about them being called number bonds. Sometimes we talk about them being called math mountains. Either way, um, it's the same thing that you know um, that we've learned at school. We know that the two numbers on the bottom are going to somehow combine and equal the number on the top. So we know that in this case, we are adding 9 plus 1 equals 10, or the other way around, 1 plus 9 equals 10. Now we also know that we can take the number on the top and kind of go left or right and do subtraction, the opposite of addition. So we can do 10 minus 9 equals 1, or we could go the other way. 10 minus 1 equals 9, okay? So that's all that this is showing you. Um, I'm going to help you get the number bonds set up. I want you guys to be able to add and subtract here on your own, okay? You have all the numbers that you need right here. So for um, instance, let me see here. What's going to be my best tool? I'm going to try writing with this. I have no idea, you guys, if this is going to work, but um, it'll probably be pretty sloppy. Let me see. Okay, so 9 plus 1. We know that 9 plus 1 is 10. Good. And then we know 1 plus 9 is, again, ah, whoa. I have no idea what I'm doing. Delete that. Okay. One plus nine is. Ah! This is Klein. This is 10. Somehow I changed the width of my marker and I have no idea how I did that. Okay. So, and then 10 minus one, we know if we go this way, 10 minus one equals nine. Whoa. Did not mean to do that. Okay, equals nine. We know that 10 minus nine equals one. Good. Okay, so over here, I'm just gonna help you guys get the number bonds set up for each of these. My handwriting is not gonna be the best. So, um, because I'm on my computer trying to write with the trackpad with my finger, it's very difficult. Okay, so we have the numbers 8 plus 2, 2 plus 8, 10 minus 2, and 10 minus 8. Now let's think. Okay, with these and with addition and subtraction, we know that the larger number is going to go on top. So we have three numbers here that we're dealing with. We have the number 8, the number 2, and the number 10. What number is going to go on top? The larger number goes on top. Yes the number 10. So you're going to go ahead and place the 10 in the top there. Ah, this is Klein. Okay, we're going to leave my scribble there. Um, and then we know that it does not matter, guys, what order these two numbers are in. The other two numbers that we have left are a 2 and an 8, and we can put them in any circle that's left. So we could put the 8 here. Uh-oh. Whoa. And we could put the two here. Oh man, this is not going over real well, is it? I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Um, and then again, we know that we have 10 minus 2 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. 
we know 8 plus 2 is 10, and we know 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay, so let's see if we can just build our number bonds here, look at our numbers, and just place them. Okay, so let's see here. We need a number bond here. And my are again not going to be the super de duper de best because of the way that I'm doing this. But you guys will probably have much better luck than me. Okay, so you guys can draw circles and lines. That's all this is a circle and a stick. Oh, another stick. And two more circles. Okay, let's look at this one over here. It says 6 plus 4, 4 plus 6, 10 minus 4, and 10 minus 6. What are the three numbers that we're dealing with here, guys? Good. Yeah, we're dealing with the number 6, the number 4, and the number 10. Now remind me, what number goes on top? The largest, the smallest, what number? The largest number when we're dealing with addition um, and subtraction number bonds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the number 10 on top. Okay, and then we're left with the other two numbers. Does it matter which circle they go in? The six and the four. No, it does not. Okay. I'm going to put the four. Ah. And then I'm going to put a six. Okay. And then you guys can solve those all on your own. Now, over here, we have the numbers three plus seven, seven plus three, 10 minus seven, and 10 minus three. Okay. What three numbers are we dealing with? Good, we're dealing with the numbers three, seven, and 10. Okay, now remind me, what number goes on top? Everybody go ahead and write down what number goes on top. Good, and most of you should have the number 10 here on top. Okay, then we're left with the number seven and three. It does not matter what order they go in down here. We're going to fill them in. Okay, you guys can use this to solve. Now down here on questions three, it says solve. It does not tell us to draw a number bond. I wanna tell you something. If you need the number bond to help you get an answer, you can go ahead and draw it to figure it out. But these are actually all, um, they're all just two numbers that add up to 10. So it would actually be quite a bit of number bonds. So what you're gonna do actually here is, um, if you guys wanna just draw out 10 little dash marks to help you, that's what I would do if you don't have counters at home. So you can just do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now look, we have 10 equals 7 plus a number. We don't know what that number is. So 7 plus what equals 10? Go over here to your counters. We know that seven of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven. How many is left after that seven? There's one, two, three. There's three left after that seven. So we know seven plus three is going to equal 10. Now, if we look over here, we have 10 equals three plus something, and it's gonna equal 10. Oh my goodness, look up here, guys. We already know. We know that three plus something equals 10. Look up here. Addition, the numbers can be flipped around. Look, three plus seven equals 10. Don't overthink it. Okay, go ahead and use what you have on your paper. So we're gonna put seven there. 
Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna show you a different strategy for this one to solve. So we know 10 equals five plus a number. So we can go ahead and draw out our five or whatever number we already know. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then we need to know how do we get to 10? Well, we already have five. So let's go ahead and count on to 10. So we have five, ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay? So we know that we added one, two, three, four, five. We added five more to get to 10, okay? You guys can do either of those strategies for the rest of these. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for hanging in. Sorry for some pop-ups that are happening on my screen. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get rid of those for our next videos. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I miss you all, bye.